there are a few issues related to children regarding the use of technology. Firstly, the technology can minimize social interaction, relationship, and increase the social skills issues of children. And browsing online can be dangerous to them. The technology can minimize social interaction, relationship, and increase the social skills issues because when children are using mobile devices more and more, they will become addicted to them. They will also become less disconnected from real life and will prefer to spend their time using virtual technology. Thus, the communication with their family and friends will become less from time to time. Early social interaction is important for early childhood development as it helps children to develop strong language skills, creativity and confidence. Secondly, browsing online can also be dangerous to them. This is because the technology has many inappropriate contents that are not suitable for a child. For instance, content that is related to pornography. Most of the adults know it and can easily avoid them. But what about children? Other than that, the technology can also be dangerous as it affects the attention span of a child which can cause distraction and concentration difficulties. At the same time, this will also affect the process of learning new things during the early age of a child. Next, there are two solutions that can be used. The first is, always communicate with your child and be active. While the second is, use family filters or security software. Always communicate and be active. Children will feel safe and comfortable in their environment if their parents is always there for them. Other than that, children also need protection, security and good relationship in order to grow and develop skills, especially in their education. Good communication with them is important to their development as they are training themselves to learn and apply what they are facing in their life in their education. Next, use family filters or security software. As everyone knows, Access to limitless content will be inappropriate for some kids. So, these filters and security allow to create user profile for the children which limit their access to certain features. It is also allows the parents to keep track of what the children are doing while using the apps. And it is better to allow them to use the application that might help them in academic. In Islamic concept, Islamic upbringing of children comprises of three things or concepts which are tarbiyah, Firstly, Tarbia is the children's religious development. For Tarbia, the parents must educate their children to be successful in the hereafter by seeking closeness to Allah and following the example of the Prophet. Parents can first introduce to the child about Islam in general, so they will know about Islam religion and start to develop Islamic values in themselves since a child. Next, for Taqdib, it is to teach the child to have good outward manners and conduct and have the inward disciplines of self-restraint, which is taqwa, or to control one's nafs. They need to know it from child, and it can be started with parents' actions. The parents should always do good deeds and showing good manners, so the child will follow in the footsteps of the parents. Lastly, for Taqlim, it is the religious instruction of what to do and what not to do in Islam. This is the Islamic knowledge that children need to know. Parents must teach their kids about what is right and what is wrong to do so they will know it. When the child did things that are not allowable in Islam, the parents should take necessary actions by telling them not to do it again and the reason, and also take some measures such as, for this problem, the parents use filters or security software to prevent the child from watching inappropriate things using technologies.